Well, uh, good morning. It's a uh, Sunday morning. So today here on the Mendota Ranch, we've got to do a game survey. Um, we're a little late on it just because the weather, we've had such bad weather uh, last week or so. And I've had military in shooting and I've had shooters yesterday. So it's Sunday morning. I've got Sam, I don't know, y'all probably don't know Sam. Sam's my strength coach. And then I've got my son, Luke. They're coming and we gotta count deer. So uh, we'll get in the when we get in the helicopter, I'll explain how the game surveys work a little bit more. But right now I'm trying to get everything ready. I kind of screwed up already. I forgot the time change. So I told him to show up at 7.30, which I thought would be a little bit before daylight. Well, it's uh, you know, a little before seven and it's already daylight, so. I'm going to kind of be ready, but uh, we, so I planted a new field of alfalfa. I spread it with the, alf, with the helicopter, a pretty good stand, but now I've got a dang, a giant pig, like a 500 pound pig out there rooting it up. I've been trying to get it, hadn't got it. So if we see it today, we're going to get it. So, um, but the main thing we're here for is to uh, count the deer. And that's why we call it a game survey. We'll count uh, whitetail, we'll count mule deer, we'll count antelope, we'll count all dad, we'll count, we won't count the turkeys, uh, we'll count quail. So I'm pre flighted, I'm fueled up, I'm ready to roll out. It's 37 degrees outside. Um, I'm just waiting for them to show up. So um, if we get in the helicopter, I will uh, kind of fill you in about how we do it and why we do it. All right, this is how we roll a helicopter out. I get, uh, I've got wheels we, we put on, on the uh, skids and then I've got a little cart. And then we just roll it out of the hanger here. So the, ha the hanger's heated. It's got a heated floor so it keeps everything nice and warm for us. So, so here's the deal. On, on your, on your uh, paper, make a, make a, a list. Go whitetail, buck, doe fawn, mule deer, buck, doe fawn, uh, you can do coyote, bobcat, quail, and then at the very bottom, you can put like a antelope and all dad. We don't really care antelope and all dad. We don't care for buck or doe. But the main thing we want to do, main thing is the white tails and the, and the mule deer is what we want to count. And so essentially, we're, we're counting a um, hundred yards either side of the helicopter. So when you see one, just go, just go. When you got a mule deer, when you got white tail, buck, mark. Uh, whitetail doe mark whitetail fawn just so have just so have it you can, you can mark it that way you can get your eyes back outside again and then on the coyotes um, you know just mark whatever so essentially what we're doing like Sam you're gonna be counting you going you're just gonna count what's out your side and Luke you gonna count what's out your side you know say a hundred yards I'd say if you pretty truthfully if you can see it count it okay. so the ideal is we're flying a hundred and um, six miles and we're counting 300 foot or 600 foot swath. So that gives us our acres. So then we cover so many acres and then that's how we figure out what our deer density is or coyote density or whatever. Does that make sense everybody? Yep. Uh, Does this, and this is what gets your tags for the year, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so along with this, we will do a, uh, uh, we'll do a browse survey. So we'll survey the browse and that, and then that will t determine how, what our carrying capacity is for the deer. So if we have, so say if we have a, so if we have, a, you know, if we can carry 300 deer and we've got 150 deer, then we know we need to uh, dispatch some deer. Yeah. So I'm afraid we're going to be, just kind of what I've been seeing, I'm thinking we're going to be kind of over the mark right now. I'm thinking we're going to have to move some deer, but we'll see. So, and truthfully, this isn't for looking for like big deer. This is just trying to, we're just, this is flying a straight grid. So I've got the grid on, the, on my GPS here. And I'm gonna fly just a straight line, and y'all just count each side. And we're gonna fly back and forth. Um, that makes sense. Yep, it does. All right, here we go. All right, everything's in the green. Uh, that heater is working. I'm yeah, turning it off. Warm. All right, clear your way. Clear left. Okay. All right, let's get. Now we're gonna run over the other side of the creek and start over on that other side and work our way back this way. Cause this is where most of the game is and I want to get them before we get uh, too far into the morning. We're not counting turkeys, are we? No, no counting turkeys. We got a million of them nasty little suckers. So 
essentially what I'm going to be flying is 40 feet, 40 knots, uh, mainly down here in the creek. When we get up on the flat country, I'll, I'll go a little faster. Just because we, I mean, it's not like there's something going to hide. There's a bunch of deer right there. We'll, we'll leave them there and count them on the way back. Uh, we can start counting any time now. I'm going to get on my line, zoom in. So the worst part about this for me is just flying a straight line. Nobody's going to know if you don't. Yeah, I know. The other day I was flying one. Did I tell? I might have told you, but we saw a big all dad. Oh yeah. And I whooped that son of a gun around. I mean, this all dad had fish hooks on the end. He was so big. And the guy in the back seat immediately threw up. Did he throw up in here? No, I, he he was. I heard him, and I opened the door and and come to a stop. And he threw up on top of a mesquite tree while I was hovering. Friday, I had a bunch of military guys in. I, uh, I had uh, two of them throw up. I've been on a roll making people throw up. So you can do this survey a couple ways. We do it every year like this. One time we did a, uh, it's like called a, a uh, spotlight survey. And so you can drive. So essentially what you do, you get in your pickup, you and somebody else, and you can both get a spotlight. And you drive, every tenth you drive, you pick out a certain route on the ranch and you drive down the road, you stop every tenth of a mile, turn your spotlight on, and count whatever you see. How does that go? Oh, it sucks, it sucks. I mean, <laughs> you think this might suck, flying a straight line? You stay up all night and drive around and do that? Oh my God, does that suck. Do you oh. see much? Yeah, you see quite a bit. Um, but oh my God, you're up all night, drive a tenth of a mile, look and count. Tenth of a mile, look and count, it's painful. The best count we ever had, but uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife doesn't recognize it, is we took the thermals out. Oh yeah. And we used thermals, and we had we got a really accurate count with that. I put a video. I've got some dead cat. Uh, we lost some cows in that snowstorm. Uh huh. I had like so I put a video a camera on the uh, on those dead cows. We had I think last night we had five coyotes on it. No kidding. Yeah. All at one time. Yeah, all at one time, and we've been shooting the crap out of them coyotes. We we shot uh, Friday. We shot two. How about your pig? You seen it again? No, we've been looking. That's why that gun, I forgot to tell y'all, I got a gun and two mags in here. So if we do see that big son of a gun, we're gonna stop the survey, throw a door off, and we're gonna dispatch his ass. How many tags a year do you usually get? Well, we usually get anywhere from 40 to 60. I mean, well, I say 60. We hadn't gotten 60 in a long time. It's been kind of that 30, 40 range. And truthfully, the 30 is about all I can stand because it, it's, it's a crap ton of work. I mean, everybody thinks it's easy, but man, you, you gotta go, you go out and shoot them. that mean deer and gut that mean deer and do all that. It's a, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I know we had some deer in front of us when we were coming up here earlier. They're starting to get looked at. There they are. There's a buck. I just saw a buck okay. right there. You got a deer in front of you here. Oh man, I got five, five does. Well, Got some fawns in there. Yeah. Doe. Two doe, three fawn. Coyote in front of us. You got him. You got the yeah, coyote, Sam. I got him. Yes, sir. Got a good coat on him. He did. Pretty color. We're flying a game survey over there for Joe Curtis, and there's two coyotes had a uh, a buck hemmed up out in the middle of the hay meadow. Really? Yeah. And one of them was big old gray dude. Big old gray coyote. And he was big. But look out in front of us and that pig did all that damage in one night. Oh, no kidding? Yeah, one pig. Wow. I got one going out, you're, yeah, you I got, got Luke. I got him. Uh, maybe count that as a fawn. Oh, there's another one. Got something over there in the feeder. Got something in front of us. Yeah, right here. Sam, you got one right there. Yeah, and there's one right there in the tree. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, I got it. That's a fawn. Oh, there's doe, two of them. Yeah, you got a doe and a, doe and a fawn. Yep. Ah, I imagine we can call it right here, so everybody put their pencils down. The test is over. I wonder if I passed. Oh, I don't know if you passed or not. <laughs> ah, well, that wasn't bad, so we did it, and we got done in two and a half hours. That was pretty good. Yep. Still got, Still got a couple, a little over a quarter tank of gas left. We're good. Good job. Oh, that was nice to get that done. What a beautiful day, huh? No wind. Sweet day to fly game survey. What kind of totals you got there? Uh, I've got uh, whitetails, eight bucks, 25 does, 12 fawns, 
mule deer. I got 10 bucks, 10 does, and five fawns, and I counted two coyotes. Nothing else. Nothing else. What about you, Sam? I've got 26 white-tailed bucks. 40, 26? 26. 46 white-tailed doe. Jeez. 13 fawns. 7 mule deer buck. Uh, 22 mule deer doe. 4 fawns. And 12 coyotes. I can already tell you, they're going to be giving us a bunch of tags. That's a bunch, that was a bunch of does. Yeah, I yeah, got a lot of white tail. I'm talking about white tails. So you got 25 does. You got 45? 46. 46? Oh my gosh. Okay. Looking at the numbers. So we finished up our deer survey. So remember, how we do this deer survey is, is we just fly a grid across the ranch. So we're just flying a straight line. We've got... Uh, somebody counting, Sam counting 300 feet on this side, Lucas counting 300 feet on this side, and we're flying every quarter mile. So instead of covering the whole 26,000 acres, we cover, you know, 7,700 acres. And that's how we get our deer density, because we, we just take the deer we, we see, divide that by the acres, and then that tells us how many deer per acre we have. Now, we have another figure that comes in that says okay we've got so much percentage of the ranch is good deer habitat and we'll still do a forge you know the um, brow i mean a browse survey you know to see how much browse the deer are hitting but i'm telling you looking at these numbers we got a lot of deer to take care of so say like, here's here's just what last year we counted 12 uh whitetail bucks this year we counted 32. Last year we counted 42 whitetail uh, does. This year we counted 71 whitetail does. Last year we counted 13 uh, doe fawn or fawns. This year we counted um, 25. Last year we counted five coyotes. This year we counted uh, 14 coyotes. So, you know, it's not an exact science. But it is what it is, and we—I can tell you by these numbers—we'll go. We've got a lot of deer to um, remove from the herd, and you know, and you, you're probably saying, "Oh, great! You know, we get some hunters, we can sell them." Nah, it's not like that. It doesn't mean we're shooting lots of bucks. We are shooting more bucks, but we're shooting mainly does. And I'm telling you, I've had hunters come in there and like, "Oh yeah, we'll come shoot does for you." They don't shoot does. Nobody likes to shoot does. That's the whole point. I don't like to shoot does. They don't like to shoot does. Nobody likes to shoot does. And it's work. You know, you go out and you shoot these does. It's just a lot of work. You know, somebody's got to gut them. We got to, you know, get them ready and put them in the cooler. And it, you know, it stinks and it's dirty. It's just work. So, you know, pretty much I'll do it. Um, and it looks like I'm going to have a lot to do, but Anyways, I thought I'd just tag you along. This is part of the ranch stuff. We, uh, you know, besides managing the, the cattle herd, the, you know, the horses, you have to manage the wildlife too because we don't want them, you know, starving and not having enough forage to eat. We want a good healthy herd of white-tailed deer, mule deer. You know, the mule deer numbers, they stay just exactly the same. It's usually that way every year. Mule deer, just they're just not as fertile as a whitetail. So they just kind of almost exactly from last year, so. Hey, once again, thanks for watching all the way to the end, and thanks for uh, uh, subscribing. Hit the notification. Hey, share this with your friends. Um, this might be something your deer hunting friends would like. So see what we do on the rancher side to improve the uh, deer herd. So cool deal. Thank you. See you.